Hello, third grade, and welcome to Studio 37, Remote Learning Week 4. This week, we're continuing to be in ancient Egypt. We're going to further delve into their use of hieroglyphics as we create our own cartouche. Before I provide a living demonstration of what those are going to look like, I am going to send it over to my computer. As previously stated, we're going to be looking at the Egyptian cartouche this week in art. Of course, we need to know what hieroglyphics are. Hieroglyphics are the symbols ancient Egypt used as a form of written language, one of the earliest forms of written language there are. And there they are carved into a stone. And um, yeah, I've reiterated how interesting it is that they used um, hieroglyphics, which were very pictorial and one of the very earliest forms of written communication. We discovered how to interpret uh, hieroglyphics when Napoleon and his army stumbled across this pe wonderful piece of history, the Rosetta Stone. It was a stone ta tablet that had writing in hieroglyphics, cuneiform, and in ancient Greek. Since uh, the French that discovered it could read and interpret ancient Greek, it allowed them to interpret the hieroglyphics, and that is how we know to read them today. A cartouche is an ancient Egyptian nameplate. They only used it for pharaohs and gods. Having your name placed into a cartouche was supposed to protect you both here and in the afterlife. And as you'll see in the examples, cartouches can be made both horizontally, horizontally and vertically. Horizontally and vertically. Can you find the cartouche in this painting? Go ahead. I see a few of them. And what I want us to do this week is create a cartouche. I want you to use your name, convert the letters into hieroglyphics. You can use your first name, your middle name, your whole name, as long as you work artistically to fill the whole page. And I do want your final, final project colored. I don't care how you use to color it. And I'm going to send it back over so we can all draw our first, <clears throat> draw our first cartouche together. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time to go ahead and draw our first cartouche. This is just kind of for practice to loosen up. Um, hopefully it'll bring us some sense of safety and security in these rather trying times. And drawing together is always fun. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw my oval. I'm going to draw big, I'm going to draw lightly, I'm going to move my arm, not my wrist. I'm going to try to take up my whole page the best I can. And I might even make a mistake that I have to fix the four arrows. And I want my rope, but it protects me to have a little bit of thickness to it because I'm going to add a pattern later. And then they can cut that straight line across the bottom. And I'm going to make my little fancy in the half of the pass. I'm going to throw in a circle right there. So you got the rough idea of the shape of my cartouche. Now I'm going to go in and start adding my hieroglyphics. Of course, I did mine vertically, so I'm going to write from top to bottom like they often did in ancient Egypt. And I'm just going to go ahead and get started for you. For the chick, I'm just going to draw a circle really lightly so it can raise the lights later. Bring that body in. Bring that body in. Put a little tail. Raise that line. Taking my time. Close it off, I have. 
So now I challenge you guys, using this hieroglyphic sheet, hieroglyphics sheet, try to figure out what this says. And that is my first cartouche. And finally, I'm gonna go ahead and show you my working cartouche that is in my sketchbook to hopefully motivate you to think about what you can do to make yours. Again, I really appreciate your time and attention, and I really love seeing your hard work. Keep up the great work, guys. So this is the cartouche I started. I hope you noticed that I have added more details and um, added a fuller version of my name. Again, you can use the hieroglyphic sheet to identify what this says. I've also incorporated an onk in the bottom, just kind of as a decoration, as well as a pattern or repeating shapes and colors around the outside of my cartouche. I look forward to forward to showing you this completed cartouche later in the week. Please keep up the hard work and keep checking my website for videos. I will be updating it weekly. Thank you for your time and attention and have a great day.